Hi there, so I'm going to be talking about why I think Svelte is the best JavaScript uh, framework or compiler or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be comparing it to Angular, React, and Vue. And so this is just my opinion and I'm giving you the reasons why I am using Svelte in my projects and why I think it's one that you should use too. So these are the five metrics I'm going to use. Performance, bundle size, lines of code, popularity, and developer experience. So to get these first three, I'm going to come here to um, this is a real-world app comparison. So this is some project where they made the same app in all these different frameworks, um, and then they compared it on several different metrics. So the first metric is performance, and this one, you know, I don't think this is unless you have some heavy-duty app or game or something, it's not a huge deal. I think they all have fairly high scores. Angular JS is significantly low and some of these others are lower. And you'll see Svelte isn't that high, but you know it's gonna be fine. It's the same as some of these others. Okay, so it doesn't do great on this one, but you know I don't think it's a big deal, and it does fine. So the second one is size, and you'll see that Svelte has the lowest size, and this is what you're shipping to the client, so what you're sending over the internet to your client. And so if someone has a, uh, a slow connection or something, this is gonna be a big deal. It might not be a big deal you know, if you've got great internet um, or you live in a country where it's got great internet. But it's still going to make a difference, and this is significantly lower than Vue. Uh, it's four times smaller. Angular is pretty big. React is also, where are you, pretty big. So it's really small, and that's pretty awesome. So that's one good thing. Um, the, the third metric is lines of code, and this was what <clears throat> really drew me to Svelte, is that the lines of code is so low. Um, and you'll see it's about half the size of Vue, and it's um, about half the size of React plus Redux. And that, I think, makes an overall better experience for the uh, for the developer. OK, so next thing is, so that kind of feeds into developer experience, but I'll come back to that. And then fourth is popularity. So obviously, Svelte is not the most popular. Here we've got Vue on GitHub, 142,000, which is actually the highest, which I was surprised to see. Um, React just has 131,000, and then Angular with Angular plus Angular.js is about 110,000 combined. Um, and then where is Svelte? Yep, and then Svelte here has 19,000. So the third version of Svelte just came out like two months ago, so it's gaining a lot of traction and I think it'll get just a lot bigger with time. I bet it'll um, grow faster than the other three at this point. Um, and then if you're wondering, so here you'll see some of these others, Elm, Aurelia, Clojure, PureScript. Um, they have more stars than Svelte for the project, but if you come to their their projects on their own, they have less. This one just has 5,000 stars. Not that stars is everything, but it's one indicator. Um, Clojure script. Aurelia had the highest 11,000, but still less than Svelte. The other thing is you might have seen um, App Run on all these metrics is pretty similar to Svelte. Really low and low amount of lines of code, but it does not have much many stars on GitHub and not as much traction as Svelte. Okay, so that's that. Um, here there's hot frameworks. Um, so we got Ra React at the top, AngularJS, Angular, Vue. They're all up here on the top. Svelte is actually all the way down here. You'll see, blah, blah, blah. but again, it's new. I think it's growing rapidly, and you know, in the next month or year or so, it should climb pretty significantly. I think. You know, I could be wrong, obviously. Um, and then I just wanted to do so. The last part is the developer experience. So I think so. Here I've got my Svelte component, and I just think it's so much nicer. You just got script style, and then your HTML. Well, I mean, it's really it's all HTML, and it's just much more intuitive, I think, than something like here in React, where you have to have your class counter extends, blah, 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 blah. And then you got a render and return and all that. And you got this constructor. View is a little bit better, but um, you still have all this stuff that isn't necessarily intuitive. Svelte is just completely intuitive if you already know HTML. And it's less line of lines of code, and I just think that makes it makes a much better developer experience. So those are my reasons for preferring Svelte over the others. I think as it becomes more popular, it'll be adopted more, and I think it's just a great um,
compiler, framework, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that is all.